everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And we are going to do a Bible journaling layout, whatever you want to call it, the Forever Faith series, where I like to take my journal and just do one of my favorite studies from the week or two because I got a little sick. So I'm a little bit behind, but I am feeling great now and I am ready to just, mm, how do I put this? Just put myself into this and enjoy it. And I am so blessed and happy that you're here joining me. This is not a political forum. This is just how I do it. You do it however you like. There is no wrong or right way. Um, my goal is just to share how I do it and hope that it inspires you. So um, whether you choose to do a Bible journal or you choose to do a recipe book, whatever you'd like to do, I just use a store, pot, store bought um, notebook and I just go from there. I, I don't really have a rhyme or reason, I just, go with the flow. <laughs> okay, so I have already cut down my papers. Um, I'll put the playlist below. I'll just kind of work and talk. That's what I do. Um, I'll put the playlist below. If that's something that you're interested in, you can go and watch the other videos in this series. I'm trying really hard to do it as often as I can fit it in, but I don't Bible journal every single day. Now I read my daily verse, but I don't make a layout for every single one. I pick the ones that touch my heart at the time and really, um, make me think and bring me joy or even bring me to tears sometimes. And I will um, kind of highlight those. And my hope is one day the people that I love will go through my journal and get what I got from them or maybe be touched in a different way or whatever is meant to be, be right? God's will be done. Whoops. So today I, um, well, I actually did this a couple days ago. I'm not going to lie. So I was studying Hebrews 10, 35, 36. And basically to me, I'll let you look that up and read it, or you can pause it and read it, whatever. My handwriting is not the best, but, um, and basically what it means is we have to keep our confidence in our faith, right? How hard is that? that that's hard sometimes. Um, if we don't do that, then it's easy to let our faith slip, right? So I question myself sometimes. Am I confident enough in my faith? I'm just going to trial and error, you guys. That's what I do. And sometimes the answer is no, I'm not. Sometimes the answer is, yeah, I'm doing pretty good today. It's kind of like sometimes you fix your hair and you know it's great, right? And other times you fix your hair and you're like, I don't know, but it'll do. Well, having faith isn't like that. We can't just make do with it. We need to be confident and know that God will keep his word. And sometimes that's not easy. It's just not. Let's do a little bit of trial and error. Now, all of these beautiful creations are gifts that have been gifted to me recently. I have gotten gifts, you guys, for many different things, many different swaps from all of you, and I want to thank you. You encourage me to keep going. You encourage me to continue to share. You make me feel like what I share matters, and you give me confidence, right? I mean, that's where this whole 360 came from. I have gotten things all the way. Miss Tammy sent me things all the way from over the pond. And these are beautiful, Tammy. Thank you so much for your sweet heart. And my scrappy friend, Jeanette, she just sent me a whole envelope of goodies. You guys, you make me feel so loved. And I don't deserve it, but I am grateful for it. Grateful for it. Um, I got this beautiful title, these beautiful goodies here. Um, maybe we can even tuck in a little something. I don't know. What if we were to put this down here? Mm, I don't know about that one. Maybe this one over here. I could redo it even and put this behind and have the crosses come down. I kind of like that idea. Okay, let's see if we can maybe make that work. Now I do this just like my regular scrapbooking, trial and error. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Now. I I love that this is left white because I can color it whatever color I want. And I think I want to color it a deep purple to match 
these um, butterflies and I've also pulled in, if you've been watching me, I've been doing 30 days of sketches and I have some purple butterflies here as well from my 49 and Market um, Spectrum Gardenia. And I think I might put one there. I could put it up on foam even. And let's see here. Ooh, I like the stripes on this one. It's kind of sassy, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little sassy. We could go like this. Maybe put another one here. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I like all of that. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to color this. So do you guys ever struggle with being confident? Is it just me? I mean, I know I'm kooky crazy, but maybe it's something that you struggle with as well. And when you do, tell me in the comments, what do you do to feel more confident? Um, I know for me, sometimes I pray more. Now I'm just gonna do the, the lettering here. Sometimes I have to fellowship more. That will always boost my confidence. Isn't that crazy how that happens? But it is. Fellowshipping for me gives me courage and helps me to see the other things that God is doing in other people's life. And I just, I love that. Truly, truly does. But I think we all struggle sometimes with our confidence and our faith. It's easy to do in today's world, isn't it? Like it's, it's not easy now. Everything we see and I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I can't even watch the news for five minutes without thinking, what is happening, right? Like, anytime now. Jesus, just just walk on down, right? <laughs> I don't really want to think so. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm done. Time out. Tapped out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep on coloring this here. I'm just going to start with the um, actual saying. And then I'm gonna do all these little curly cues. I'll do them green and I'm gonna just do the flowers in different colors. Maybe I see a red and pink. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back, I guess. I don't know if I should step away. You guys enjoy this part of it or not. I enjoy this series. I want to continue them. I was very nervous about doing them when I first started, but. I'm, I'm getting there, right? And the Forever Faith Swath, oh, isn't that fun? Over on Ginger's Corner on the Facebook group. You guys, it's a lot of fun. And I'm excited. I got to be on a team this time. And we also had a Bible verse to like kind of guide us and inspire us to make embellishments. Oh, that's exciting too. I like that Peggy is doing that. You know, I just kind of facilitated. This whole thing is Miss Peggy. She has been... Um, she comes up with the Bible verse and she takes care of that swap for all of us. And so a big shout out to Peggy for doing that. You know, if that's something you'd like to do, just come over to the Facebook group. We don't bite. We might, we might offer you a cookie. <laughs> bite. We might show you a sale on some, you know, journaling scrappy supplies. <laughs> there's no, there's no mean, mean violence over there. I'm gonna have a live today, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Our giveaways. Okay, so now I got it all glued down, or all colored glued down. I'm gonna put this one up on foam for sure. These will go up on foam. I think this pulls in the color of that. I think that's our page, you guys. I can't decide if I want to do enamel dots or not. I did pull out some stickers, but I think I think I'm good here. I don't think I need any more stickers. Um, I think that's that's gonna be it. So let me go glue it down. Come back and we'll talk a little bit more. All right. All right. I got it all glued down. The butterflies are on puffies. I decided not to ink, and I did add a little sentiment. I'll put close-ups. You guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you to my scrappy friends, Tammy on the other side of the world, <laughs> and to Jeanette for encouraging me by sending me the goodies. You guys are amazing. I truly, truly mean that. Keep your faith. 
Stay confident in it. It'll get you through a lot. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.